Good afternoon everyone. In this video we are going to discuss the entire DPS Chandigarh paper that was held today. And in fact let's begin with the first question. So let's read it. What is the least number that is divisible by all natural numbers from 1 to 6 both inclusive? All right, I need to write the least number, least number. Now, as a question may usual problem hoti hai, we need to decide what we have to find out. Whether we need to find out LCM or HCM. Right, this is a matter of confusion for you guys. But let's read the question. He is asking me the least number in number one. Least number, alright, that is divisible by, divisible by all natural numbers from 1 to 6. As in, 1 se divisible hona chahiye, 2 se, 3 se, 4 se, and 5 se, and of course 6. Both inclusive talk, so 1 and 6 will be included. Now, first of all, let's think, number divisible, iska matlab kya hota hai? If I say, think of a number which is divisible by 6. 12 is divisible by 6. 18 is divisible by 6. That means, I am talking about multiples of 6. Right? So, least number that is divisible by all these numbers. That means, I is the multiples ki baat kare? 2 ke multiples ki? 3 ke multiples ki? 4 ke, 5 ke and 6 ke? I am talking about the multiples of these. In fact, I am talking about the common multiples. Common multiples. And, you can say that least number. That means, least common multiples. As in, LCM. LCM of what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And I think it's the LCM nikalna is quite easy. What is it? Right? Usual method, prime factorization. So we'll go on numbers like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then first cut I two say this is 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, and 3. Uh let's take 3. Oh no, not be 2 enough. 2 3 cut there. 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 5, 3, and then let's take 3. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1. Now, we have a 5 right here. So, that means LCM will be 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. And this turns out to be 60. So, the least number that is divisible by all natural numbers from 1 to 6, both inclusive is 60. Answer is 60. Alright, let's look at the second question then. If P and Q are two co-prime numbers, co-prime, numbers, then HCF of P and Q is option A, C, option B, Q, option C, P, Q, option D, 1. Obviously, you need to choose one of the correct options. Right? So, if P and Q are two co-prime numbers, then co-prime numbers ke definition kya bhi? Those numbers are co-prime Which have, which have 1 as the only common factor, as the only common factor. Those numbers are co-prime which have 
one as the only common factor. So one as the only common factor. मतलब HCF क्या होगा? HCF of two co prime numbers will be one as the only common factor. तो highest common factor क्या होगा? One. HCF of co prime numbers will be one. HCF of P comma Q will be P and Q are co prime. HCF will be one as in option D. Let's talk about the third question now. So let's read. If one zero of the quadratic polynomial x square plus three x plus a is two, then The value of k is option A ten, option B minus ten, option C five, option D minus five. Obviously, I need to choose the correct option. Now, if one zero of the quadratic polynomial, as in x square plus three x plus k, now one zero is given to be two. Now, मुझे value निकालनी है k की. Two is a zero. I need to use this. Two is a zero. Zero के definition use करते हैं. Zero of a polynomial means that value of x for which the value of polynomial becomes equal to zero. Or I can say since two is a zero of a polynomial, if I substitute x by two, the quantity, the value of this polynomial. Equal to five, right? Now 
बी की वैल्यू तो आ गई हम सी एंड ए की डायरेक्टली वैल्यू नहीं पता चले राइट बिकॉज ए की रिलेशन है कुछ लोग क्या ऑप्शन इन्वॉल्व एक्स वे का कॉपिशन वन एक्स वे का कॉपिशन वन यहाँ पे भी वन वन दैट मीन्स एक्स वे का कॉपिशन तो वन ही लेना तो आई विल टेक ए टू बी वन ए इज वन आई कैन से सी इज इक्वल टू फाइव तो माई पॉलिटिक फॉर नॉर्मल वर्ड ए स्क्वे प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी अब ए आई टेकन इट टू बी वन यहाँ पे वन इंसर्ट करो दैट इज एक्स स्क्वे नाउ बी इज जीरो एज इन जीरो इन टू एक्स Let's pass 
on to the seventh question. Find how after how many places the number twenty one by eight into one twenty five will terminate. Option A, B, and C and D are given. Basically, I need to find then does this number terminate after how many places? Twenty one by eight into one twenty five. Eight into one twenty five. As in twenty one by eight into one twenty five is one thousand. Now, it's not what I want to say. Right? Twenty one by one thousand. As in, I can write this as point zero two one. Now tell me, after how many places the number terminates? One. Two and three, three places. So we have to find the zeros count. Can we do it? No. In the back we have to count. Can we do it? Yes, we can do it. So after three places, the number, the decimal expansion of this number will terminate. So answer is option A. All right. All right. So eighth question. Find the product of HCF and LCM of smallest prime number and smallest composite number. Product of HCF LCM of smallest prime number. Smallest prime number is two and smallest composite number two prime, three prime, oh four. Four is the smallest composite number, right? And I need to find the product of HCF and LCF of these two numbers. HCF into LCF ni kala na? HCF into LCF. This is equal to HCF into LCF is equal to product of the two numbers. As in first number into second number. Let's see. Into L C M is equal to eight. Answer is eight. Eight question का answer eight है. All right. Let's move on to the next one then. All right. So ninth question. If alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square minus x minus two. Find the polynomial whose zeros are two alpha plus one and two beta plus one. All right. First of all, alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial. Alpha and beta is the zeros. Are. And I need to write a polynomial whose zeros are two alpha plus one and two beta plus one. All right. So alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial. Okay, just observe the polynomial. It's a factorization over here. That means I can easily find the zeros in middle term straight over here. But now, this polynomial ki factorization x minus two into x plus one. ये तो दिखनी चाहिए factorization. And alpha and beta are zeros. So, what are zeros? What are two and minus one. So, I will suppose alpha to be two and uh, beta to be negative one. So that means I need to form a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are two alpha plus one and two beta plus one. So, alpha ki value two. Yaha pe put karo alpha is so two into two. Plus one, two into two plus five is five. That means one zero needs to be five. All right. Then two beta plus one. Beta ki value negative one. So put karo yaha pe two into negative one plus one. So this will turn out to be negative one. So I need to write a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are five and minus one. So if five is a zero, factor will be. Minus five, and if minus one is a zero, factor will be x plus one. बाबू ताऊ, अब 
तो मैं उसको मल्टीप्लाई कर दू एंड गेट मैं क्वालिटी फॉलो में मल्टीप्लाई दिस विल बी एक्स स्क्वे माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस फाइव राइट सो दैट मीन्स ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट नाउ दिस वॉज दी फर्स्ट मेथड सेकेंड मेथड वी कैन डिस्कस दैट एज वेल लेट्स डिस्कस दी सेकेंड मेथड then i'll leave it up to you which one is better so let's discuss the second one so x square minus x minus 2 zeros are alpha and beta now i can write sum of zeros as in alpha plus beta in terms of coefficient alpha plus beta is negative of coefficient of x which is minus 1 in this case divided by coefficient of x which is So this will turn out to be one. Alpha plus beta is one. And let's talk about product of zeros. As in alpha beta, this is equal to constant term, which is minus two, divided by coefficient of x one, which is one. Or I can say alpha beta is equal to negative two. Now I need to find the quadratic polynomials whose zeros are this. Now zeros can be easily written. Of zero relationships can be easily written as in sum of zero. Sum of zero. How to write? If I have a polynomial, I know a x square plus b x plus c. Sum of zero is negative b by a, right? So sum of zero. So I can write it here. As in two alpha plus one plus two beta plus. इसकी वैल्यू नहीं निकाल सकती टू अल्फा टू बेटा टू कॉमन आ रहा है ना तो दिस इज टू इंटू अल्फा प्लस बेटा प्लस टू अल्फा प्लस बेटा ओ इसकी तो वैल्यू पता है अल्फा प्लस बेटा इस बार यहां पे पुट करो दिस इज टू इंटू वन प्लस टू और आई कैन से दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर तो माइनस बी बाय ए इज इक्वल टू फोर तो इसको यहां पर लिख लेते हैं Now let's talk about the product of zeros. Product of zeros. Product of zeros using the coefficient is constant of which is c divided by coefficient of x square which is a c by a. A product of zeros I can also write using this as in two alpha plus one. Into two beta plus one. Multiply it. This is two alpha into two beta. That is four alpha beta. Then plus two alpha into one. That is two alpha plus two beta plus one. Now four alpha beta. Oh, alpha beta. Value. So I already know. Okay. Now here we have two. Here we have two. Common. Take two. Two common. This becomes alpha plus beta. Now, alpha beta की वैल्यू डालो यहां से फोर इंटू माइनस टू प्लस टू इंटू अल्फा प्लस बेटा इज वन प्लस वन दिस विल टर्न आउट टू बी माइनस एट प्लस टू प्लस वन एज इन माइनस एट प्लस थ्री दैट इज नेगेटिव फाइव प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो टर्न आउट टू बी नेगेटिव फाइव इसको ऐसे लिखे थिंग्स बेटर Right. Now, in order to write the polynomial, I need to a certain values of a, b, and c. Now, a को मैं ले लेती हूँ अब आप से one. Using coefficient, I can choose. So, if a is one, यहाँ पे put करो one. B will be negative four, and c will be negative five. So, my polynomial will be x square minus four x minus five. Right. This was the second method. I will leave it up to you to decide which one is better. I think the first one. Can sit. Well, you decide. All right. So, tenth question. It's write the answer type. Find LCM of 510 and 92. LCM निकालना है. कैसे लगा लेते हैं? Hand characterization. 
and so on. Right? Now, first time bell ring kari thi 9. So, no, start me, right? Up next, bar to start me ne kari. 940 pe, ye 10 pe. Ye 1020 pe, ye 11 pe. But wait, yahaan pe 11 pe bell ring kari hai. Or yahaan pe bhi. That means, the next time, the two bells will ring again at 11 is. That's it. That's the answer. So, with that analysis, can I have? Ah, there's a second method as well. Let's talk about that. But, it's not analysis, can I have answer? So, let's talk about the second method. Again, two sections, junior, senior. Now, suppose T is equal to 0 per, here we will bring it. Then T is equal to 40, bhi karegi, right? Then T is equal to 80. Pe. First, period ki duration kya hai? 40 minutes. So, pehle T is equal to 0. Pe. Then T is equal to 40. T is equal to 20. T is equal to 80. Then, T is equal to 120 and so on. So basically, 40 ke multiples lik hai Multiples are getting involved. Alright. And let's talk about the senior section. Now, T is equal to 0 pe bell ring kari. Then, after 1 hour. Or I can say, after 60 minutes. T is equal to 60. And then, T is equal to 120. Then, 180. And so on. Now, what do I write here? T is multiple. That means, 40 is multiple and 60 is multiple. In fact, I am interested in the common multiple. Or, to be more precise, I am interested in least common multiple. As in LCM. 40 and 60 is LCM. Calculate the Niki Zurutni, a forty and sixty ka LCM, lowest common multiple. That is one twenty. That means after one twenty minutes, the bell will ring again. So one twenty minutes, as in two hours, nine EMP, Peli bar, Kariti. Take two hours ke bar, Dusi bar, both the bells will ring again. So answer is eleven. Alright, this was the second method. But personally, I prefer the first one. More common sense because. Let's move on to the next one then. Alright, so let's talk about the 13th question. If the zeros of the quadratic polynomials express plus a plus 1 into x plus b are 2 and negative 3. Zeros are 2 and negative 3. Then, of options ko notice kerte hai, they are talking about the values of a and b. So, a and b ki values hai nikal dete hai. So, a and b ki values. So, a ya pe aar hai and b ya pe aar hai. A is getting involved in the coefficient of x. That means, sum of zeros mein a will be involved. First of all, sum of zeros mein ko. Sum of zeros is equal to negative of coefficient of x, which is a plus 1. Divided by coefficient of x square, which is 1. Right? Now, sum of zeros, I can also write using the zeros. As in 2 plus minus 3. This is equal to minus a plus 1. Right? 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. Equal to minus of a plus 1. Now, ye to cancel out ho jayega. So, a plus 1 is equal to 1. Or I can say, a is equal to 0. A ki value aage? A is equal to 0. So, dekha jaye, 
ऑप्शन में ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए की ऑप्शन में है तो ऑप्शन डी शुड बी करेक्ट अगर बी की वैल्यू नहीं भी निकालते बट लेट्स बी ओपिडियन के हम बी की वैल्यू भी निकालते के वैल्यू निकालने के लिए लेट्स यूज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो यूज करते हैं यहां से ए इक्वल टू जीरो आया था ना ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो यूजिंग द कॉम्पोशन सो दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ डिवाइडेड बाय कॉम्पोशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर विच इज Product of zeros, I can also write using the zeros as in two into minus three equal to b. B is equal to negative six. Match over here. So a is equal to zero and b is equal to negative six. This was method number one. Now method number two can be since we know. Two and negative three are zeros of this whole number. Zeros. But if x ki jaga agar main two substitute karungi, the value of the polynomial will turn out to be zero. So the a and b the a expression will be. Now negative three is also a zero. That means agar x ki jaga minus three put karu, the value should be equal to zero. A and b mein second equation. Dono ko solve karo and you will get the value of a and b. That is also a method, but I think in case me this was quite simple. I would personally go for this, and I would personally just do till here. Because a key value zero is put a key option maybe. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so let's talk about the fourteenth question. Let's read it. If Sum of the zeros. So, sum of the squares of the zeros of the quadratic polynomials f of x, as in x square minus 8x plus k, is 40. Find the value of k. Now, he is saying sum of the squares of zeros. Now, zeros suppose for it, yeah, alpha and beta. Let's suppose the zeros to be alpha and beta. Now. If these are the zeros, I can use the relationship. मुझे पता है पहले लिख लूँ. As in sum of zeros लिख देती हूँ. Alpha plus beta is equal to negative of coefficient of x which is minus eight divided by coefficient of x which is one. So this turns out to be e. And then product of zeros. This is equal to constant of which is k divided by coefficient of x. और भी गिवन है मुझे सम ऑफ द स्क्वेयर सम किसका स्क्वेयर ऑफ द जीरो एज इन अल्फा स्क्वेयर एंड बीटा स्क्वेयर का सम दिस इज गिवन टू बी फोर्टी दिस इज गिवन टू बी फोर्टी नाउ सम हाउ आई नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के ऑल राइट अब ये मुझे यूज करना है अल्फा स्क्वेयर प्लस बीटा स्क्वेयर And I know alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Can't I relate these three? Alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta. See, इस तरीके से use कर लेते हैं. Now this is equal to what? Now alpha plus beta whole square. Alpha plus beta. So मुझे पता ही है. That is a. So a. Minus two into alpha beta. Alpha beta is k. So two k equal to forty. Right? A square as in sixty four minus two k equal to forty. Or transpose करते हैं. This is two k equal to twenty four. So k will turn out to be twelve. A is equal to twelve. Let's move on to the last question then. All right. So the last question is: One of the zero of the polynomial x square plus k x 
प्लस फोर के एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज नेगेटिव ऑफ दी अदर इफ वन जीरो इज नेगेटिव ऑफ दी अदर फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के नाउ वन जीरो इज नेगेटिव ऑफ दी अदर एज इन अगर एक जीरो टू होती तो दूसरी जीरो नेगेटिव टू होती सो इफ वन जीरो इज अल्फा द अदर जीरो इज माइनस अल्फा Now I need to find the value of k. Now k is involved here in the coefficient of x. What's the relationship? Sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to negative of coefficient of x, which is 4k, divided by coefficient of x square, which is 1. Now sum of zeros I can also write using this as in alpha plus Minus alpha equal to minus four k. Alpha minus alpha as in zero. Zero is equal to minus four k. Or I can say k is equal to zero. Option A is the correct answer. All right. So that is the end of the discussion. I hope this must have helped you. हेल्प किया होगा तो प्लीज पास दिस ऑन टू योर फ्रेंड्स और टू एनीबडी हु वांट्स टू लुक एट दी सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द टेक्स्ट दे शुड बी नो कॉपी राइट ऑफ द एजुकेशन राइट सो ऑब्वियसली यू कैन शेयर सो दैट इज इट एंड आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक यू